Welcome back. Le Pavilion Internment and Mausoleum offers funeral services and so much more in Grand Bahama. Here to tell us all about it is Nicole Johnson, owner of Le Pavilion and Mausoleum. Good morning and welcome to Bahamas at Sunrise. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for having me. Yes, we here have a big joke. Oh, I thought you was a restaurant and someone else thought you was a park. So yes. It's early. So please forgive us. You're neither of those things. No. <laughs> um, please tell us about um, your funeral services business and why did you decide to go into this, this, this business? Okay. Well, the Pavilion is a um, multifaceted company. It has um, several services. One of our main services are plots and um, niche wall services where you have put the cremated bodies as well as chauffeur services. And um, we are now getting into the headstones as well. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the reasons I decided, I know I, over the years, I've had a lot of loss. And so I always thought even, especially in Grand Bahama, that uh, we could have more options. And so I wanted there to be another option um, um, so that persons will be able to choose, you know, have, have a choice of where to go. And so one of my passions was just the driven the service, the service that we provide and making sure that during your difficult times, we are there to help you ease the burden. Yes, and you use the perfect word there, service. You know, most persons don't recognize the, you know, the level of service that goes into the type of business that you have. You know, it's a it's a it's a sensitive time in person's lives. It's it's uh, some key or core memories being created for the family and for the friends. And so you, you really play a definitely an important role um, in, 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 the, in that family and in the healing process. Um, and I like, and I, like you said, you, you felt like Grand Bahama needed this and you wanted to serve your fellow Grand Bahamians. Um, so tell us a little bit about the services that you offer. You, you began to mention that. Okay, yes, we um, have double plots. The, the traditional burial usually are plots, which is the underground in grave. Um, plots, we have double and single plots. We have a mausoleum wall, which holds niche um, spaces where you put your cremated remains in the urns. And um, that's some um, two walls we have. And then we also do chauffeur services. Now, a lot of persons think our services are limited to funerals, but we also do weddings, um, graduations, anniversaries, anything you want to celebrate, we also celebrate that with you. And so we offer that, um, first class um, red carpet treatment in that regard. And also um, a lot of places, again, um, giving options. We have, we're now into making headstones. And so, you know, we wanted to be different. We wanted to let people see that, you know, it can be, I mean, it's a difficult time, but we are here to help guide you through it. Even in our adverse um, advisory, um, portion what we do is um give you advice on which what is the best plot um how you plan your service where the programs a whole gamut of other things um we do as well as um grief counseling wow grief counseling yeah you definitely offer full service um yes, and like you said any reason to celebrate and you guys are there uh, ready to help so yes. tell us how has your business been affected by COVID-19 Oh, it actually, it was shut down just about the office. Um, in particular, um, there was hardly any movement. Um, and then also because of the fact the shipping, some of the things that we, when we began, um, it was a lot of um, issues and challenges trying to get our stuff in. Um, but um, thank God we passed that hurdle. And, um, you know, we are well on our way. Um, we actually did um, one of our first underground burials um, a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, it's just our whole thing is service and to be there for those families who are grieving. A lot of times it's just stressful, you know, and having to go here, having to go there. And we are really almost a one stop shop. <laughs> that sounds great. Like you said, no one wants to, um, you know, to have to, to think too much. And you sound like you're there to help guide people along the way. Um, yes. and also counsel them through this difficult yes. time. Yes. Um, so tell us, how did the Access Accelerator help you make your vision a reality? Well, um, I think it was 2018 when I heard the ad, um, actually Ms. Blair um, Grant now, um, she, the, the call was made that they um, were offering classes. And, um, and then of course the grants 
And um, that was a, a pivotal um, part of it because even as a woman entrepreneur um, in this climate, a lot of you don't get that support financially from banks and a lot of the in lending institutions. And I'm happy to say that they supported us, they um, backed us financially, and um, they made the way smoother, even in terms of transitioning to other financial institutions. You know, they made the funding possible. And, and of yeah. course, even in their advice, post and um, pre and post um, advisory service, they, SBDC, um, the AA team, um, they have been my um, full supporters. They've been my advocates in the whole thing. That's, that's perfect. We've heard so many great stories about the Access Accelerator Program and so many uh, local Bahamian businesses that they have helped uh, to get off the ground and get started, bringing people's yes. visions to reality. Yes. Um, do you enjoy being an, an entrepreneur and owning your own business? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think my, my background is financial um, and um, business oriented. And that just kept in line. This is really not my first business, but um, this is certainly the more um, the bigger one um, in terms of um, the expansion and everything. Um, but it, it, just, it just gives you a good feeling of ownership and the fact that um, I can make a difference in my community, you know, and in people's lives. That's what I want to do, be able to touch the lives and make them better. And that gives me a good feeling. Wow, you really sound like you're in the perfect uh, business and you keep saying service, 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 and you definitely yes. have the personality oh. for it. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say to persons who have a business idea, but don't know what to do next? Well, um, I, I, I suggest you go to SBDC. They are able to, you know, even as small as, as you may think your vision is. Right. And if you have somebody who could be able to encourage you, you know, to know that, you know, this is, this can be a reality. Mm -hmm. 2018, I would have never thought this would expand and explode to what it is today. You know, I say, oh, well, maybe, you know, I'll do something nice and, and all of that. But, you know, that is not where um, the Lord actually led me to do. You know, but um, with um, SBD, SBDC and the Accelerate Access Accelerator, they um, really push you forward. And like I say, your biggest advocates, because when you reach some of those hurdles or you have some challenges, or even when you doubt yourself, you know, there are persons there who encourage you along the way, who, you know, cheer you on. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, we are a family now. That, that's how it turned out to be, especially the groups here in Grand Bahama. You know, and I just want to shout out to my biggest advocate, um, advisor, um, Charmaine Johnson. She has been stellar in my life. And in terms of standing by and holding my hand and saying, Nicole, you could do this. This could happen. You're going to break trends and records. And that's what we've been doing. Yes. Well, you've very well said, uh, very inspirational. I'm so happy to hear your story and hear how the Access Accelerator Program has helped you. I'd like yes. to thank you, Nicole Johnson, owner of Le Pavilion and Mausoleum, uh, for being, with up, being up with us this morning, there early on a Friday. I still ain't wake up yet. I still think use a restaurant. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. On the show. <laughs> but you could come to our niche wall. There you go. <laughs> and we also have a gazebo, so whenever Perfect. you're ready. <laughs> Perfect. You're watching Bombs at Sunrise. We'll be right back. Thank you.